Whoever keeps keying up, I don't know if you know you not have no audio. If you're trying to find the CB shop, use the telephone, man. And that's all I got to say. I'm on the quiet side, man. King of New York, Claire. Stupid motherfucker. How much audio do you want, Richie? Well, I'll tell you what, any time one of you guys out there calling me a crackhead would like to put your urine up against mine on camera, if I fail for coca dope or I come up positive, you could have every piece of test equipment I own and accumulated over three years. That includes all my radios too, and I own about seven radios. You ain't seen my striker on the table yet. I've been saving that. You're going to see that in the next month coming. Actually, I'm going to video gate it and probably the next video gate to show you it exists. And now I'm going to let you hear later. Just to be a jerk off. Dusty, but uh, let me see. It's been sitting in the closet for a while. Let me try to light that up over there. Give me a second. CK is a big tough guy with everybody and everybody's mother out here. Microphone wanks the gangster. Wannabe wanks the gangster. All right. There goes my striker. It's a little dusty, but uh, as soon as I get the parts for that, I'm uh, I'm gonna make Eddie cry. I own that striker too. Why should he do it? You got you and Forster and Birdie doing it 24/7, dude. Nobody's better at it than you guys. Thirteen used to be in the pearl mic. 
I hope someday I, I hope someday I get to meet six thirteen outside of his truck. You just follow Mike in my life. What are you talking about, you but the bitch you never gave me anything. Anything, nothing. I have nothing from Richie. He never touched nothing of my radios or nothing. What are you talking about? Why are you making this something? It's not a story. story. If you want to talk, talk with the truth. If I had any equipment that Richie worked on, I would have first one to say it. Hey, yeah, yeah, this, that, Richie did it. I have nothing that nobody did for me. The only radio that I have at home that somebody did for me it was Ralphie out of Chicago, Illinois. My friend Ralphie. Okay. He makes AC boxes. That's my friend right there. That's the only one that touch any of my radios. Anything else? It's just a routine. I did whatever I did to them. Simple stuff. Cobra 29s, anybody can do it. Another Cobra 29 came like that from eBay. Nobody has touched none of my radios in here. You got it? Well, 613, he's so used to making up stories and lies, man. He's honestly trying to convince the public that uh, I did shit for you. He swears that he had 206 trapped up in my apartment that I did 206 radio. And he swears that 206 brought my original pistol grip. When the base operator from Channel 6 clearly, clearly been showing that mic off ever since and purchased that original pistol grip from me, two weeks before I left 194. And there's all video games to back it up. But we're talking about Cupcake, which he wants the world to believe is cop killer, but it's really Cupcake. All right, we're on the side, guys. Y'all can deal with the junkies. 613, you want to feed into that junkie, that East 10th and Avenue D wannabe wankster gangster who wants to fight by taking other people's video games, cutting up their words, getting photos of them, begging people out here for uh, stuff on Mall Dropper. These are pussies. Birdman, Enforcer 250, Coke Junkies, the Big Green Frog video in my favorite section. Go learn about this crew. And Cupcake allegedly is the biggest supplier. Many video games him bragging about. He wishes uh, what he does. Claims of, oh, you got you, you, you to hear shit that come out of this boy mouth, man. He tried to paint himself up as a real Frank White out here. But he ain't nothing but a little mouse. A mouse. That Richie punked on the sidewalk of Utica Avenue. What's the matter, bro? Yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, I punked that bitch on Utica Avenue, dude. You don't hear you hear him talking about how they squat on me, how they watch me now. After two years of telling them where I am. First, you got Enforcer out here that swears he pays off uh, private investigators who swear him at 590 Clarkson. But yet, all my Dollar Man video gates have you clearly directed these guys to 46 and Winthrop, and I'll be right out. And, you know, that's hilarious with this junkie crew out here. If you want to know the real deal about these cocksuckers right here, and you want to take your channel back, all your firepower is in the NYC Radio Wars playlist. Because there's no more wall for me. I don't lock it up with them. I got everything out of their mouths I ever needed to get out of their mouths. Just to do my job. Now I just step all over them. Whether you want to let them talk, you guys out here, that's up to y'all, but I ain't. So if y'all don't want to hear me, you better flex what y'all think y'all got. Including half your manhoods. I'm back in the cut. Uh, check it out. Richie don't ever care about being in control of video gates he posts out there. He puts them out there. It's his work, his art. You know what I mean? If they want to get fat off the land by mixing my words around to get some of you half-assed motherfucking half-manhood mouses believing I'm a junkie or homosexual, I can't do nothing about it. I don't mind. The joke's on you. As long as you believe that in your mind, this tech won up on you when I'm back quiet. Hey, listen, if you want to know, if you want to know what CK looks like when he turns white, you should have been there. Right, 
bro, I took that step back. I don't know what it was, my eyes, my shoulder, my arm, but my man flinched because that's not what he was expecting. He was expecting to walk up on me with that evil look on his face and think it was going to scare me. <laughs> what a rude awakening that pussy was in for. The king of New York just dying and waiting for one of these funky motherfuckers. Especially that punk who told you for nine and a half months he bought a special pair of gloves to use on me. And all he could do was pussy up about him. With that, guys, I'm back in the cut. It's your video game. It's your airwave. You can thank Crazy Eddie for begging me 13 months ago to come on down to 19. They're talking about you again. Him and his three little junkie buddies. Crazy wanna fag me, shag me, punk pussy Eddie. Guys, it's four of them on my hit list, dog. And you don't want me to get back to that hill and do this every morning, every day. So y'all better keep your own backyard clean. Y'all make a living out here. Me, I'm always gonna make a living out here because I'm a fucking tech, not a truck driver. But you need your airwave and your ears. I'm back quiet. <laughs> You see his motor plea cops, you see his motor plea cops, cameras, high impact, I gave you a mic, that's why you're siding with me. Why don't you tell him the truth? Most of your boys know. You met me for what, 30 seconds at a traffic light? You told me you'll be, you told me you're, you're, you're one block away, come on down. And who was there at the traffic light when you pull up to the stop waving at you? No fear in my heart. I wish I did radio work for you. Because then I have you getting out like a fat rat, stepping on fucking crazy douchebag every day and turn you on his bumper. Should you be able to sport that box and those clamps every day? The king is clear. That's all you know. That's all you know. That, that's why people don't think you're serious, CK. I mean, you, you want to turn every conversation around with Kirsten and your mother did, your mother dad, because you don't have an argument. You don't have an argument. He can't back up or substantiate any of his words. He can't back nothing up with facts unless he takes video gates and cuts up the words to try and make a fact to back up. The king is clear. He's a pussy. On 19, you never held your ground. You're just a cheerleading bitch. Ah, oh, CK, you see, but I'm not cursing at you. That I'm not saying any curse words. I'm not talking about any family members of yours. All I'm doing is stating, you know, a fact. That's a 
You say you went there. You never said that he lied or nothing. Richard said he looked at you. He looked at you. Which, when I tell you that, you start laughing. I right there is a, is a good way that you had a problem. He said he looked at you, took a step back, and said, Hey, bro, yeah, I, you were shaking. Because you were shaking. Don't talk about me. Poochie is doing this conversation now. Poochie got nothing to do with this. You went there. He looked you in the eye. Took a step back. He didn't even load up with a fist. He had an open hand. He was going to slap you like a bitch. He said, hey, bro. Hey, yo, hey, 613, he's trying to put Poochie out there because Poochie planned on bringing me a Thanksgiving plate, and uh, she couldn't get the ride to do so, but he's been turning that story up ever since because he caught wind of it and trying to make her out or trying to make uh, make out like uh, she came to see me and got totally scared of me. The woman got no reason to be afraid of me. I'm nothing to be afraid of unless your flesh touches mine. The King of New York, I'm clear. There's a whole lot, there's a whole lot to be afraid of you, man. Just ain't gonna try to say, hey, when somebody in that big rain on the Friday and the other day, I'm talking to you. Oh, they think they gonna catch a disease, hepatitis, AIDS and shit. Richie looks sick. That motherfucker looks sick. When people see Richie, they think they gonna catch. They go, they think something called on somebody and caught something. Look at him, look at him. He looks sick. Richie look fucking sick like he's gonna die. Hey, Cupcake, minus the healing hole in the lung I'm nursing, I am virus and disease free and clean, bro. I'm healthier than an ox, and I'm gonna live long enough to piss on your grave, your kid's grave should my father let you have any before I kill you, your kid's kid's grave, and better than that, half you guys out here, dog, I'm going to be doing radios for your grandchildren. I know you don't believe that, but that's just the way it is. Yes, sir. And I'm back quiet. <laughs> Tell him when him and his two junkie buddies start, stop talking about Richie. Tell him, tell him, you'll stop with him the day him and his three junkie buddies stop uttering the name Richie and create havoc on 19. Tell him straight up with how much they suck Richie's dick. Come on, look at this cat calling the kettle black. I say cat because he is a pussy cat, a cupcake. Don't ever let him be confused with CK's for cop killer because that is a pussy, dude. A pussy. And I'll tell you what, I, you know, to be honest with you, Cupcake, I, you know, I kind of figure where you come from over there, Avenue D. I know the cops you're used to dealing with. Those ain't fucking cops. Those are bought badges. I'm on the side. Fucking dumbass nigga. Dumbass nigga. He's scared of dying. That's why he didn't raise his hands to Richie. That's why Richie punked him on that sidewalk that easy. He's tetra petrified, like petrified wood. A low life. A sad excuse for a brother. And that's part nigger in me saying that, bitch. You are a sad excuse for a nigger. And that's coming from a quarter nigger in me. That says it's the quarter nigger in me that punked you. Bitch, 
telling you the fucking truth. You make Spanish people look bad, yo. You a little midget just like Richard. You the same size as that little motherfucker right there. That's probably what they got along. Yeah, man. That's only because he don't know what to repeat. He's just running around in a circle. We both got him shook. The fact that 613 gets to use it against him. I give y'all lots of that, man. Y'all want the truth? Y'all want to see what's the truth and what's a lie? See what I give you to strike nerves with. Check out all the truth and justice. NYC Radio Wars. There's all your firepower, guys, to take your channel and make sure Richie only comes out when y'all call his name. The King of New York, I'm back with